Hi everyone! Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today is the 4th and um, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday's video was really short. I honestly just did not have a lot going on. I like hardly even crocheted yesterday so it really reflected <laughs> on the video but um today i kind of i have been crocheting a little bit it's already almost six but i kind of forgot to be recording little clips of that so i'm gonna show you guys what i have um been working on so i really went through like a great portion of this skein i just have a little bit left and i'm gonna put it just like this back into the shelf because when they they stay like this i put them back into the shelf but when it like you pull it from the middle and it completely messes up then i will roll it into a ball same with the white i didn't use as much but um it's going back in the shelf so what i showed you guys yesterday was this penguin head um i I'm so, so excited because I think this is going to be adorable. At least I'm really hoping it is. So what I did today was a, a few more hours. I devoted to it and I have the, the body. So it's going to be like this. Super cute. I have the two um, wings and the tail. So that's everything that I need this color for. So I'm gonna put it back and I'm probably gonna take out this darker pink to do the beak. And I think that's the only thing that's like a contrasting color. So I, yeah, I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm excited because this pattern, it was a paid for pattern. I think I paid $5, five or $6 for it on Etsy. Um, I liked it though, so I'm hoping it um, looks cute when it's all assembled. And um, yeah, if I have time today too, I really want to do my nails because um, they are, oh, <laughs> I should not have shown, they are like bothering me uh, greatly. And I think there was something else I really wanted to work on today as well, but now I can't remember. Anyways, <laughs> that's probably it. My main focus is definitely going to be the penguin. And I actually, I don't have any like other work. I Sometimes I keep works in progress over there, but I like don't have any that I'm working on right now at the same time. So that's kind of interesting that I've like stuck to working on one at a time. So I'm proud of myself for that. And hopefully I stick to that for the rest of the month at least. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go work on the penguin.
got my boy five millimeter hook finally um so basically today kind of just walked the dog and like um it is already about 10 o'clock i did get a chance to do my nails i love this color so much um i got a bunch of fluff on my nail there but yeah it's super pretty it's like a gold there you go um I can't paint my nails for like the life of me. I cannot paint my nails, but I can do glitter just cause like you can't see the strokes when you do glitter. So I'm really excited that they look all nice again. I have one of the kitties here. It's been a while since you've seen her. She's this one. <laughs> She's not really having it, but she is curious of like what's happening here. So I finished most of the pieces of the penguin. I think I have it all finished actually. I just need to go, um, so all the pieces on it so I thought I would give you like an update for that I needed to get that the safety eyes that's why I'm back here <laughs> in the room to get safety eyes I'm gonna use my biggest ones which are 22 no I think they're 20 millimeter safety eyes and I really like them I'll actually link the exact set that I get of safety eyes in the description box below it's always there um I think it's two types of safety eye like packs that I get and both of them are usually linked in the description boxes below on like most videos. I think I was going to mention something else too. Maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. I like the pattern a lot for the penguin, but it's coming out pretty large, like a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. So I will show it to you guys when it's finished. Um, I believe the pattern calls for a, I want to say like a 3.75 millimeter hook, either that or a G hook, possibly. And it said that it was going to be like nine inches. So I should have expected that it was going to be pretty large because I use a five millimeter hook. Uh, so I will show you guys that as soon as I piece it all together. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it though. It's so cute. So hopefully I will be making more. Um, yeah, it definitely takes a lot of stuffing though. <laughs> Something that I've been noticing so far so the body won't get all like mis like deformed. Um, you have to put uh, quite a bit of stuffing in there. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on that. Mm -hmm. 